In the beginning of time, the Earth was a vast, flat plain engulfed in darkness. Beneath this surface, spiritual ancestors lay in a state of deep hibernation. These ancestral beings had different forms, human figures, animals, plants, and combinations of these elements. With the awakening of these ancestors, the period of transformation and creation began. They moved across the earth, and with each step, movement, and action, they molded the landscape we know today. Mountains rose into the heavens, rivers carved their way through the earth, and fertile valleys unfolded. Their work was not limited to the formation of the world. They were also the creators of life. It was through them that the first humans, animals, and plants came into existence. The Dreamtime ancestors established the laws, customs, and languages that would guide the aboriginal peoples through the generations. The creation story and the different gods and deities in Australian aboriginal mythology is very varied, as there are over 500 different groups of aboriginal people in Australia, each with their own beliefs and stories. So in this video, I will try to collate the gods and goddesses from different areas of the country. Number 1. Rainbow Serpent The Rainbow Serpent is an ancestral being that originates from the dream time. This mythical creature is known by different names in the various aboriginal languages and has different interpretations and roles in the stories. The Rainbow Serpent is a sleeping being that resides in a well of water. Upon awakening, it begins its journey through the world. As the serpent moves, its huge and powerful body shapes the landscape, creating rivers, mountains, valleys, and water wells. In its path, the rainbow serpent leaves life in its wake. Its movement and the creation of bodies of water allow for the emergence of plants, animals, and eventually humans. Not only does he create the physical world, he also establishes the sacred laws that govern the relationship between people, animals, plants, and the earth. These laws dictate how beings should live and relate to each other and how they should care for the natural world. The rainbow serpent is also a symbol of fertility and life. It controls the rain and water cycles, which are vital for survival on the arid Australian continent. At the end of its journey, the rainbow serpent returns to its resting place. His departure leaves the world in its present form with its established laws and structures. Number two, Bayame. Bayame is known as the Great Creator. He created the earth, the sky, and all living things. He shaped the landscape, creating mountains, rivers, and valleys, and established the laws of nature. In some legends, Bayame came down to earth in human or semi-human form to interact with humans and teach them vital skills, such as hunting, fishing, and gathering food, as well as performing important ceremonies. Bayame is associated with other important spiritual beings, such as his wife Biragnulu, who is seen as a goddess of water and fertility, and his son Daramulam, associated with the sky, stars, and weather. After shaping the world and imparting his teachings, Bayame left the earthly world and ascended to heaven. From there, he is said to continue to watch over and guide his people, where he remains a spiritual presence, a protector, and a divine ancestor. Number 3. Yai Yai is a deity that arises during the dream time. She is known as a sun goddess. In her mythology, she plays a crucial role in the creation of the world. The story begins with Yai asleep in the dream world. When she awakens, her light illuminates the world, which until then had been in total darkness. As Yai travels across the sky, his light and warmth bring life to earth. Yai's appearance and light caused plants to sprout and blossom. Animals and humans also awoke and began to move about the earth. In some versions, Yai interacts with other ancestral beings and spirits, including evil beings who try to counteract his influence and challenge his power. At the end of the day, Yai returns to the world of dreams, giving explanation to the cycle of day and night. As a sun goddess, Yai is a symbol of fertility, growth, and renewal. Her influence is vital to the survival and prosperity of all living things. Number 4. Dirawong in the lands of the Bunjalung people in northeastern New South Wales, the story is told of a powerful and spiritual being known as Dirawong. In a time beyond memory, Dirawong was born. Rising from the depths of the earth, he took the form 
of a goanna, a noble and powerful lizard. Dira Wong was more than just an animal. He was the embodiment of wisdom, strength, and protection. Dira Wong roamed the vast lands of the Bunjalung, imparting wisdom and protecting his people. His eyes watched over the deepest secrets of nature. He taught the people to live in harmony with the land, to respect its cycles, and to understand the mysteries hidden in the shadows of the forest. But the peace of this ancient world was challenged by the presence of another powerful being, the Rainbow Serpent, a spirit of creation and destruction. In a moment of imbalance, the Rainbow Serpent threatened to overwhelm the world with its power. It was then that Dira Wong intervened, confronting the formidable being to protect the Earth and its inhabitants. The battle between Dira Wong and the Rainbow Serpent was titanic. Every move of the Rainbow Serpent created rivers and mountains, while every defense of Dira Wong maintained the balance of the world. Dira Wong succeeded in restricting the Rainbow Serpent's destructive influence, restoring balance to the world. However, he did not seek to destroy the Serpent, recognizing its essential role in the cycle of creation and life. Number 5. Mamaragan in the northern lands of Australia, the story of Mamaragan, the Thunder God, is told. A mighty being, he dwelt in the clouds that floated high in the sky. His voice was thunder deep and resonant, announcing his presence. With every step Mamaragan took, the dark clouds gathered, forming immense storms. His laughter was the crackle of lightning, illuminating the sky with its power and energy. As Mamaragan advanced, the rains fell on the land, causing the rivers to flow. Mamaragan was not only a lord of storms and thunder, he was also the guardian of the seasons. With his storms, he marked the end of the dry season and the beginning of the wet season. Number 6. Wanjina The Wanjina are powerful creator beings. It is believed that in the dream time, the Wanjina came from the sky or emerged from the earth and created the landscape, life, and established the laws of nature. As they traveled the earth, the Wanjina shaped the landscape, created animals and plants, rivers and mountains. As well as being creators, they are also seen as custodians of the landscape, flora and fauna. Their presence is fundamental to the balance and health of the environment. After creating the world, the Wanjina retreated to caves and sacred places. From there, they watch over and maintain the world, ensuring that the laws and order they established are upheld. Number 7. Noe. In the top three, I told you about Yai, the sun goddess, but I found the story of this other goddess very curious, and I decided to include her in the video. Before Noe lit up the sky, the world was in perpetual darkness. The earth was a place of shadows. Noe, mother and guardian, awoke from her deep sleep beneath the earth. As she opened her eyes, a warm glow began to filter through the world. With a torch made of tree bark in his hand, Noe ascended into the sky, bringing sunlight for the first time to the vast earth. As Noe traveled across the sky, his torch illuminated everything in its path. Plants, which had lived in complete darkness, began to flourish. Animals awoke and began to explore this newly illuminated world. Legend has it that Noe climbed into the sky in search of her son, who was lost while she slept. Each day, she travels across the sky, searching for him and carrying the light of day with her. As evening falls, Gnowi reaches the end of her daily journey and descends to the underworld, taking the light with her and plunging the world into darkness. But each morning, she renews her quest and with it brings back the light of day. Number 8. Daramulam. Daramulam is the son of Bayame, the creator god. His relationship to Bayame varies in the stories, but he is considered an extension or manifestation of his father's authority and creative power. He is associated with the sky and the stars. He is a being who resides in the heavens and has control over celestial and atmospheric phenomena. Like his father, he plays a role in teaching and maintaining cultural laws and customs. He also acts as a protector and guide for the people overseeing their spiritual and physical well-being. In some cultures, he is considered an intercessor between humans and Bayame. Number 9. Biragnulu In southeastern Australia lies the story of Biragnulu, a female deity of great power. When the world was still young, Biragnulu woke up. As the goddess of water, she nourished the land, 
filling its rivers and streams, and ensuring that every creature received the gift of life through water. Biragnulu was the consort of Bayame, the great creator god. Together they formed a balance, he, creating the structure of the world and its laws, and she, filling it with life, love, and nourishment. The tribes celebrated her with song and dance, thanking her for her generosity. Not only did she provide and nurture, Biranulu also protected. She watched over the purity of the waters and maintained ecological balance. It was said that his anger could provoke floods, while his benevolence brought gentle and rejuvenating rains. Before we meet the last member of this list, it is very important to me that you like, comment, and share this video. This is very helpful for me. Number 10. Gulaga. Gulaga rises above the coast. It is not just a mountain, but a spiritual being, the creator and protector mother of the Yuan peoples. In the time of the dreaming, Gulaga emerged from the earth, carrying with her life and wisdom. As a mother, she nurtured the landscape, creating rivers, valleys, and forests, and taught her people the sacred laws of nature. Gulaga is the spiritual heart of the Yuin. It was a gathering place where people came to learn, celebrate, and connect with their ancestors and the land. Gulaga was known for imparting wisdom to those who sought its counsel. Its slopes and caves were filled with stories and lessons. The Yuin made pilgrimages to Gulaga, ascending its peak for ceremonies, initiations, and reflections. These are some of the gods of Australia. But do you know the mythological creatures that lurk hidden in this country? Here you have the video, subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss the videos I post. See you soon.